Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you a very great project for beginners. It uses a just a chain, a slip stitch, single crochet and double crochet. So instead of making swatches and making your 150th uh, washcloth or or trivet or hot pad, you can make something else that's really cute. I got one of these. It's my little bookworm. I got one of these when I was in first grade from our librarian and I always thought he was great. He was just cutest. Um, our librarian, we had a little contest, see who could read the most books in first grade, and I won this little guy. And he's a great little bookmark, as you can see. Hold your spot without bending pages. I just love him. Our particular school district and our elementary schools don't allow you to bring in like cupcakes and candy and things for birthdays anymore, so you have to bring in non-edible things. I made a whole mess of these for my daughter when she was probably in third grade to bring as her little birthday present thing for all of her friends and they thought they were great and the librarian actually asked me how I made them so I thought that was pretty cool. They crochet up very very quickly. I made this one right here. made this little guy out of peaches and cream and this one is sail away stripes. So you can see how the great the colors are just great when you have the the stripy yarns and things. They just turn out really fun. Every one of them, almost every one of them ends up being quite unique, especially when you're doing these kind of stripes. And today I'm going to use, this is also peaches and cream. It's a nice cotton. And I forget which one is this. Strawberries? Strawberry stripes. So it's going to work up kind of like this little guy but it's going to be a little bit um, less stripes. So we're going to try this guy right now. So if you're already familiar with you're already familiar with your single crochets and double crochets, if, instead of making another swatch, just make this little guy. He won't take very long at all. So we're going to start oh, with the slip knot. However you like to make a slip knot is up to you. The one that I have in this book and this little guy right here are all starting with a chain of 67. So we're going to chain up to 67. There we go. I have a chain. Whoopsie. There we go. Chain of 67. And here this is going to be the start. And now we're going to do a curly cue on top of it. So in case you're wondering how do I how on earth do you get this thing to twist like that? It's really really easy. So after you've chained your 67, you have a nice long chain. We're going to into the second chain from the hook, really the first place that you can actually work. This little guy, oopsie, this little guy right here. We're going to put a single crochet and four double crochets in that same little chain. in the very first chain. So that's the second chain from the hook. There was a single crochet and four double crochets in that same spot. Now for the next 15 chains down here, we are going to put in five double crochets in each chain. But I'll show you this first one here. In this very next little chain right here, this little guy. We're going to go one double crochet, yarn over, pull through, pull through again, yarn over, Two yarn over, pull through two. There's two, three, four, and five. So there you go. Right there. We're going to do that 14 more times. So I'll meet you back here when you've gotten your five double crochets in the next 15 chains and I'll meet you down right about down here. And here is my last stitch. Chain number 15. I'm going to put five double crochets in this little guy right here. One double crochet, 
two, three, four, and five. All right, see how quickly that, see how quickly that happened? Now it looks kind of wonky. Oh, all you have to do is twist him up a little bit. And there you go. Isn't he cute? He's so adorable. I just love him. And we all know I love pink. So there's a cutie pants. All right. There's a cute guy. He's got a little curly cue on top. We did our 15 chains of five double crochet in each. Now all the rest of them all the way down are going to be single crochets all the way to the end. Really easy. Should be 50. But we're going to start right here at the very next stitch. 50 single crochets. One in each of the last, or each of these chains down his tail. So here we go. I'll meet you down at the end. One. All right, I'm down to the last three stitches. We got a single crochet number one, single crochet number two, and here's our very last stitch. There we go. Isn't he adorable? Or probably she since it's pink. So easy, so fast. Only thing left to do is do one little slip stitch and fasten off. Gonna fasten this little guy off. And you just pull through. Take the starting tail and the ending tail, and I just tie them together. Do a little knot. You can fray these out if you wanted to make them all fluffy. You can cut them off and leave them there. Trim them up. We'll just trim these guys up and leave them long. They'll be cute that way. But there he is. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. That's my little fun guy for the day. Really fast, really simple, only uses single and double crochets along with, of course, the chains. So you can practice your stitches as much as you need. Instead of just making swatches and squares and hot pads and trivets, make something cute that's usable. Everybody has a book. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by, supporting my small business, and please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.